and went back into my house. I just looked at the note for a brief minute. I didn't know exactly what to make of this. It was the most terrifying thing I've ever seen in my life. A note? What did the note mean? I asked myself. I'll think about it in the morning. That's exactly what I did. But I was pretty terrified, actually. I don't know if I'll be able to, you know, make it out, but, but who knows? I woke up the next morning around 7 a.m. to banging. It only happened for about a minute or so before it it stopped. Hello? Hello? I heard a very whispery voice in the corner of my back room. I grabbed the flashlight because my power went out the night before because it was raining. And I froze for what I saw. The thing that I saw in the back corner was all white with bloodshot eyes and crooked fingernails hanging down his fingers. I backed up and asked him what he wanted. He opened his mouth, grinfully, and just stood there. He just stood there for probably 10, 20 damn minutes before saying something else. Was this the boy that fell in the well? I immediately ran downstairs and grabbed the shotgun. Going back upstairs, he was still there. And he said in a whispered voice, I'm the little boy that fell in the well. I immediately dropped my phone and just started shaking. What? I asked. And then he whispered again, but this time in a demonic possessed voice. You're dead now. And everything went to black. <laughs> <laughs> 